72 minutes a day, over eight hours a week, 18 entire days out of a year. That's about how much the average American spends in a car. Coming and going, going and coming, to see friends and pals, family, loved ones, and everyone in between, to go to the doctors, to work, to pick up a gallon of milk, or just to grab a quick bite to eat. Each day we use our cars. We rely on them and their ability to get us where we want to go. Behind the steering wheel, we are free. That is, until something changes. Then medical conditions like diabetes, arthritis, and sensory changes arise or even worsen. Chronic conditions, heart attacks and strokes happen. Impairments occur. And one's ability to see, think, and move all at the same time isn't like it used to be. Driving a car may not be as safe as it once was. But instead of turning in the car keys, turn to a new solution. Turn to occupational therapy. Occupational therapists are on the front line, identifying and treating medically related functional changes while addressing community mobility. Their jobs are not to take people off the road, but to help find solutions that help keep seniors independent, safe, and on the go so they can enjoy their lives. Occupational therapy practitioners conduct evaluations, identify a client's needs, recommend equipment and modifications, help clients improve and maintain the skills they need for everyday life, and help seniors decide if they should continue to drive or if adaptations are needed, or if it's best to find other resources and solutions to get around town. As Americans continue to live longer, it is even more important for everyone in the medical community to uphold our moral duty, for us to come together, for us to provide hope, for us to help seniors thrive behind the wheel and in the driver's seat of life.